guys, this is Eli G. Brown slash Eli G. Brony, and welcome to another classic LEGO Bionicle review. In this episode, we are looking over the small characters of the 2005 storyline. These are the Rahaga, the very short, Rakshi-headed allies to the Toa Hordika. Now, story-wise, well, I'm going to get this out of the way. Story-wise, the Rahaga were a team of Toa, known as the Toa Haga, Every member of the Makuta had their own Toahaga team, and this was Teradax's Toahaga team. However, once they figured out his plan to take over the Matoran universe, they turned on him. Then, four of these guys got captured by Rudaka, the main villain of the 2005 storyline, with Nork and Iruni being the only ones remaining. Now, Nork and Iruni were the only ones to be released as sets in their Toa forms. I did already look over the, uh, their Toa set versions, so, yeah, be sure to check that out. And then they managed to find their fellow Toa, now mutated as the Rahaga, and then they ended up getting mutated as Rahaga too. But they did eventually manage to revert back to their original Toa forms when they made a deal with Rudaka when they were, I think, traveling with the Toa Nuva. Yeah, I think they did team up with the Toa Nuva at some point. I think it was during the 2007 storyline. Yeah, they, they did manage to regain their Toa forms. It's a shame that four of these guys, we never get official images of what they look like in Toa forms quite disappointing. Alright, so now let's go on to the actual sets themselves. Now the Rahaga are supposed to be quite simple. Well, the, the Rahaga are supposed to be similar to the Turaga. They're supposed to be Turaga-like beings. And it's easy to tell that because they both act kind of elderly and they both have staffs, although Nork is the only one to have a staff in the movie. I'm not quite sure why the rest of them didn't, but they didn't. Nork was the only one. As far as new parts is concerned, I think the only new part that we do get would be the Ruduka spinners, so of course we get those in just about every set that was released in 2005. And as for recolors, the only ones that I can think of would be all of the all of the head pieces except for Kulis and Bumaga because we did get those pieces in black and white respectively before with the Rakshi. But the other four, Gaaki, Norik, Iruni, and Pooks, they get Rakshi head pieces in new colors. The Metru colors. So there really isn't a lot of new pieces that the Rahaga can give you. I mean, I suppose some of them could probably even be made using spare parts that you already have, or parts from the other sets. They do all have the same arm pieces as the Metrotoran released before, as well as the same leg pieces. They all have the same staff pieces as the Rakshi, each one matching up with the same color Rakshi as before. And they all have Ruduka spinners. Now, the colors for the Ruduka spinners pretty much varies uh, from each one, although Norik, Kulis, and Pooks all have the same color Ruduka spinner, but Gaaki and Bumaga each have one in silver, and Iruni has one in gold. I'm not quite sure what is up with that, or as to why the, the, the rest of them couldn't have had the, uh, my question is, why couldn't Bumaga have one in black, Gaaki one in blue, and Iruni one in green? I mean, I know that we do get a green one with uh, Toa Iruni, but I'm just saying, why couldn't the Rahaga set have the dark green Ruduka spinner? It'd make more sense, especially compared to how they appear in the movie. As for their functions, the functions are pretty much the same as the Toa Hordika, the Ruduka spinner. You just pull the ripcord out, and the Ruduka spinner... Ruduka spinner does spin, and it flies off! And it flew off this time! <laughs> I was not able to get the... 
I was not able to get, a, get the Roduka spinners to fly off in my review of the Toa Hordika, but <laughs> I did manage to do it this time. Alright, well that's pretty good. Now there is one problem that the Rahaga have, and this is something that the Rakshi did better. Are you ready for me to tell you the one thing that bugs me about the Rahaga? Well, here you go. With the Rakshi, it could be quite hard to get the, uh, the, the piece that goes inside of the Rakshi masks off. So an easy way to do that is by uh, getting an actual piece and sticking it through the hole on the top of the Rahaga's head. However, well, <laughs> the Rakshi's head, not the Rahaga's head. However, for the Rahaga, this, this happens. I'm going to take the headpiece off right there. Alright, so, here's the problem. If it was a Rakshi headpiece, or if it was the ball cup piece that was used, just like with the Rakshi, put it, push this in, the ball cup piece would just get pushed out. But here is how it works for the Rahaga. You push this Technic pin in, push it through, and that happens. It just goes right through. And the reason for that? There is a hole in the Technic lift arm pieces inside of the Rahaga's heads. So, if you want to get this piece off of the Rahaga's head, it's not going to be as easy. Well, well, you can get that far, but it's going to be really hard to get this piece out. Really hard. Now, it, not that I want to do that, but if you wanted to do that, I'm just telling you, it's going to be very difficult. So pretty much, if you want to use these for mock making, it's going to take a challenge getting those out. I personally think that they should have just had them have ball cup pieces underneath their masks, just like with the Rakshi, instead of using those uh, Technic um, lift arm pieces that have the hole through them to make it very difficult to get out. And I think that they should have had more movable heads. The heads only move from side to side. Though, if they had used one of those new lift arm pieces with the ball joints that the Toa Hordika had, they could also move their heads up and down. So that is a personal thing that I sh think they should have done with the Rahaga, because that's, that would make it much easier to get the mask off. So anyway, the Rahaga are pretty much decent sets. I know not everybody enjoyed these guys. In fact, they're, they probably don't have a lot to them or a lot of value. Pretty much, I only see these as being important to the storyline. And they do have some personality. Though it also happens to be very interesting how, unlike with the Rakshi, the Rahaga's heads in the movie actually looked like the actual sets while the Rakshi had more snake-like faces and Mask of Light. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.